Turning a worn out 40 year old building into a state of the art learning center requires cooperation and understanding between owner, architect, and contractor. The University of Utah College of Nursing Building proved just that. When anybody thinks about a renovation or construction project, you think, oh my goodness, that could be really filled with nightmares and trepidation. But I have to say this was a very positive experience and it actually exceeded my expectations. The structural challenge was to find out how to, to uh, come up with a structural approach uh, to um, uh, seismically retrofitting the building without interfering with interior spaces. So the solution there was to provide the exterior bracing system that was exterior on all four uh, facades of the building. But it created open, um, light, um, you know, really a natural um, energy and connectedness. We really had the opportunity with the new building to organize the function and cluster things differently. So we brought the student services down to the main floor. We created a student zone, student learning education center on the first and second floor. We were charged with building half of the simulation lab in a, what was left over of an exterior covered parking garage. Intermountain Healthcare Simulation Center takes up the entire first floor of the building and it's a virtual hospital. We have a 3D modeling capability and the ability to be able to look at this building in a very early stage. There were far less surprises uh, to, um, to Jacobson, far less surprises to the whole team uh, as the project unfolded. We came in not just on budget but a little bit under budget. Because we were looking at, uh, at every aspect of this building very early, consistently, uh, we were able to find value within the budget, within the monies that we had, to be able to reglaze this entire building. My hope was that we'd be able to start this academic year um, in the building, but I knew that was very tight and very ambitious because the, the students came back at the end of August, but they actually were able to complete construction and turn the building over to us a month ahead of time. Jacobson staff were engaged on a day-to-day -day basis and when you have that kind of interaction regarding constructability issues or cost issues, you can manage the job effectively. 